Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. In this video, we will see some of the basic and arithmetic operations on images using OpenCV. So let's get started. So here I have this code, some of uh, this code you already know. So you already know how to read the images using I am read method and then show it inside a window using I am show method and destroy all windows using this destroy all windows method. But this code in between is little bit new. So let me explain line by line what this code does. So when you have this image using I am read method or any other method, you can use these attributes like shape, size and D type to get different uh, uh, values from this image. So image.shape is going to return a tuple which contains the number of rows, columns and the number of channels in this image. The image.size will return the total number of pixel which are there inside the image. And image.dtype is going to return the data type of the image which you have obtained. Now here, if you want to split your image in three channels, then you can use cv2.split method and pass your image as an argument and it's going to give you the BGR channel of your image. Now if you have BGR channels and you want to merge those BGR channel into an image, then you can use cv2.merge method and pass these BGR channels in the form of tuple and it's going to give you the image which you can uh, load using I am show method. So let's run this uh, code and let's see what we are getting using uh, these attributes. So you can see this messy 5.jpg image is loaded and here you can see first of all the shape of the image. So the shape returns the number of rows, number of columns and the number of channels. So number of rows here is 342, columns are 548 and number of channels are 3 here. The number of uh, pixel which we have calculated using the size is this number which is 562248 and the data type of an image is uint8. So sometimes uh, you need to debug the data type of uh, your image and this uh, attribute will be very useful in those cases when you need to debug if uh, something is correct or wrong. And because we have splitted this method using the split and re-merged these BGR channels using this merge uh, method, so we will at the end get the same image which we have at the beginning here in this code. So there is no change in the code. So once again, let me just load this image. And now let's talk about the ROI of an image. So ROI stands for region of interest. So sometimes you need to work with certain region of the image. So let's say you only want to work with the face here or you only want to work with this ball. Okay. So this is called the region of interest or in short form it's called ROI. So let's say we want to just work with this ball here. So this will be our region of interest or ROI and I want to just uh, copy this ball to other place in this picture. So I want to just copy this ball and place it on the other place let's say somewhere here. Okay. So how we can do this? So I al already have the coordinates of the ball but uh, you already know how to get the coordinates of uh, some place in the image we have already discussed this in our previous video so i'm not going to show you how to op obtain those coordinates but let's say i have those coordinates of the ball so i'm going to create a ball variable and we have our image so we will take our image and there are certain numpy indexing uh, features which we can use here 
So, I am going to just write uh, 280 colon 340 which is going to uh, give you one point on the ball which uh, is the upper left hand side of this ball and then we will give uh, 330 here colon 390 which is going to give us the bottom right hand corner of this ball okay so now we have uh, this ball so this this indexing is going to copy this ball all the pixels uh, of this ball and then now we have the ball so we can place this ball on any place on this messy image which we are reading so what we can do is we can once again use img and using those uh, numpy indexing uh, features we can place this ball at some other place so let me uh, just give uh, those uh, indexes here so let me give uh, 273 colon 333 I have already uh, tested this code so that's why I know exactly where I want to place this ball but uh, if you uh, are not sure where to place this uh, ball then uh, you might have to uh, first calculate or know the coordinates where you want to uh, place this ball and you already know how to find out the coordinates on an image and uh, you will be able to place uh, uh, that ROI or interest of region at some other place. So what I'm uh, doing here is I have just uh, copied the ball and then I am placing the ball on this coordinate. Okay, so I just need to just assign our ball on this coordinate and then this ball will be copied to this index on the image. So let's see what happens when we run the code. So now you can see we have copied this ball and we have placed this ball here on the image. So this is how you work with the ROI or region of interest. Okay. So let me close uh, this uh, window. Now the next thing which I want to show here is how you can add two images. So for that I need uh, one more image. So you can uh, see in my project I have this messy 5.jpg and I have this other image which is opencv-logo.png file which is of the same size as the messy.jpg image. So I'm going to just write img2 and then once again cv2 dot im read method and then I'm going to give the name of uh, this uh, file which is opencv hyphen logo dot png file okay so this is uh, this file so this file we are reading and then there is a method called add okay so we are going to use this method here let's uh, use this method cv2 uh, dot add and this method i'm going to show you what it does in a moment but this method takes two argument first is the first numpy array so let me show you what this method do first of all so this is the add method inside your cv2 package you can also see the documentation on the, the opencv.org uh, and what it does is it calculates the pre-element sum of two arrays or an array and a scalar okay so here we can uh, just pass our uh, two arrays which we got from the im read method and pass here as the first and the second argument so i am g and i am g two are the one and two parameter and there are some other parameters also like uh, output array input array mask and int which is the data type which we uh, which are set by default so we are not going to set them so we are just using cv2.add method on these two images and then i just want to uh, assign the new image which we have added to a new variable let's say this is dst for destination image and then 
we are going to just show this image using this uh, I am show method. Okay, so we have two images. Let me show you uh, those images one by one first of all. So this is the first image I have, and the second image is OpenCV hyphen logo, which is uh, like this one. Okay, so those two images we have. And when I run this code after adding those two images using add method, you will see, first of all, you will see this error. And why this error is coming? Because you will see here that the size of those two input is not matching. Okay. So in order to add two images, you need to have the images or the arrays of same size and then only you will be able to add those two images. So let's resize those two images into a size which uh, is uh, common to both of them. So you, what we are going to do next is we are going to resize those images. So once again, I'm going to just use IMG variable. So what uh, I get after the resizing, I will once again assign to this IMG variable. And there is a method called cv2 dot resize and this helps us to resize the image so first of all we need to give the source which we want to resize and then we are going to give the size which we want to get so the number of columns and number of rows we can give here let's say we want to just resize this image to 512 to comma 512 which is the number of rows and number of columns right same we will do with the next image so i am g2 uh, and then once again cv2 dot uh, resize and then the source here will be image 2 and uh, the size which we want here is again uh, 512 comma 512 in the form of tuple so we have resized this image and this image which are of different sizes to the same size and now let's run the code once again and now you will see that these two images are merged now okay so you will be able to see the hand here and little bit foot and here the ball of uh, uh, this uh, image one which is messy five and then we have uh, the second image which is open cv which is added to the first image so this is how you can add two image using OpenCV. Now there is one more method which is called add weighted. Okay. So this add method is going to just add these two images. But if you want to add the weight, for example, you want to give the weight 90% to the first image and 10% to the second image, there is one more method. So let's go to the documentation once again. And there is this method called add weighted method okay so this add weighted method takes uh, several arguments here you can see first is the source of uh, the first array and second argument is the alpha value alpha is the weight which you want to give to the first image okay the third argument is the source 2 so in our case this will be the image 2 the fourth argument is the beta beta is the weight which you want to give to the second image, right? So this uh, weight you can can give from uh, zero to one, anything. And this gamma is the scalar value which you want to provide. And this uh, second last uh, parameter is the destination. And the last is the D type or the data type here, okay? So this is the formula which uh, this uh, uh, method is going to use. So source multiplied by alpha and source 2 multiplied by beta plus gamma. So this is the uh, method which will be used using these arguments or simply you will use this kind of method. So source multiplied by alpha plus source 2 multiplied by beta plus gamma which is the scalar you can add to the image. Okay, so let's use this method. So I'm going to uh, just copy this method and then comment this and go to the next line. And instead of using add, I'm going to use the add weighted method. Okay. So the first argument is the source, uh, which is the first source, which is IMG in our case. Second argument is the weight. 
so first this is the, uh, the messy image right so we want to just give uh, the weight here 90 or you can just give 0.9 here and for the second image we want to give the weight uh, 0.1 okay so the, so the sum of uh, this weight and this weight will be 1 and also we are going to give the gamma value here as 0 so we don't want to add any scalar value to uh, this add weighted method so the next uh, value here will be 0 which is the value of gamma and let's run this code and you can see now now we have uh, our messy image which is dominant here because it has the weight 0.9 which is 90 percent of uh, the two and the open cv image have the weight 0.1 which is 10 percent of the two okay so the open cv image is light and the messy image is a little bit uh, uh, you know dominant here you can uh, just give uh, 0.5 and 0.5 so the weight of the two images will be the same and now you will see those two images in the same domination okay so 50 50 percent now let's say we want to increase this value of open cv to 0.8 and the messy image uh, weight will be 0.2 then the dominant image here will be open cv and in the background kind of thing you will see this messy image so this is how you can add two images with their weight and the scalar and uh, that's it for this video so in this video you have seen some of the basic operations on the images and some of the arithmetic operations on the images which you can do using OpenCV so I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video